Czech aircraft company, Aero Vodakoti, has delivered three modernized L-39ZA Albatross aircraft to Nigeria. This delivery is part of a contract to upgrade three L-39ZA of the Nigerian Air Force. In July 2020, the three aircraft were transported by an 124 aircraft from its base in Kano, Nigeria to Pardubis Airport, Czech Republic for modernization, the company said in a press release. After two years of repairs at the Aero facility, all three aircraft were returned to their owners. The aircraft was flown back to Nigeria by Aero test pilots covering a distance of 5,000 kilometers over four days. Each pilot spends 13 hours in the air. The flight will have stops in Dijon, France, Valencia, Spain, Garde, Algeria, Tamanrasset, Algeria, and Agadez, Niger, before reaching Nigeria. The company said the flights were quite challenging due to the long distances and changing weather conditions. Enhanced features on the L-39ZA aircraft include an electronic flight instrument system with a digital display of flight data in the cockpit and a head-up display HUD. The modernized L-39ZA will be used by the Nigerian Air Force for pilot training before flying the JF-17 Thunderfighter. The Aero L-39 Albatross is a high-performance jet trainer designed and produced in Czechoslovakia by Aero Vodakoti. It is the most widely used jet trainer in the world. In addition to performing basic and advanced pilot training, it has also flown combat missions in a light attack role. The L-39 Albatross was designed during the 1960s as a successor to the Aero L-29 Delphin, an early jet-powered principal training aircraft. Performing its maiden flight on 4 November 1968, it became the first trainer aircraft in the world to be equipped with a turbofan power plant. Quantity production of the L-39 Albatross proceeded in 1971. One year later, it was formally recognized by the majority of the Warsaw Pact countries as their preferred primary trainer. Accordingly, thousands of L-39s would be produced for various military customers in Eastern Europe. Additionally, it was exported to a range of countries across the world both as a trainer and a light attack aircraft. Since the 1990s, it has also become popular among civilian operators. By the end of the century, in excess of 2,800 L-39s had served with over 30 air forces. Significantly upgraded L-39ZA for armed training and light attack, employing sturdier landing gear, a higher payload and notably provision for a GSH-23 L-23mm twin-barreled cannon attached in a conformal pod under the pilot's compartment, having a 150-round magazine within the airframe. Outer pylons wired to carry K-13 or R-60 air-to-air missiles.